Hello, boys and girls. I'm going to talk to you today about changing verbs from present to past and future tense. There are three tenses of verbs, past tense, present tense, and the future tense. Let me tell you a little bit about past tense verbs. Most past tense verbs end in ed. But there are several rules to use while changing the present tense to past tense. Past tense verbs tell action that has already happened. Some words change spelling to show past tense. Like these examples on the bottom. Begged to begged, feed to fed, run to ran, grow to grew, like to liked, and play to played. Let's talk a little bit about present tense verbs. Present tense verbs show actions that happen now or today. Some present tense verbs have ing, s, or es on the end of them. Some clue words you may see for present tense words are the words now or today in the sentence. Some examples of present tense verbs are stays, flies, juggles, fusses, and dresses. You can read these other ones on your own. Let me tell you about future tense verbs. Future tense verbs are verbs that have the helping verb will in front of them to show that they will be happening. Clue words to look for in the future tense are tomorrow, someday, next time, or next week. Some examples are will play, will lead, will be happy, will have, will eat, will like. Okay, let's talk about changing a verb from the present tense to the past. There are five ways to change a verb from present tense to past tense. The first way is just add ed. The second way is double the final consonant and then add ed. The third way is to drop the final E and add ED. The fourth way is to change Y to I and add ED. And the fifth way is when the spelling changes completely. Let's look a little more specifically at these different ways. Okay, let's talk about when we just add ED. Most verbs can change from the present to the past by just adding ED. Today, I walk home. Yesterday, I walked home. Okay, and the past tense is the word here, walked. Did it rain today? Or, it rained yesterday. Okay. The other way that um, we can change the, to the past tense is doubling, doubling the final consonant. When a present tense verb adds, ends with one vowel and one consonant, Double the final consonant and add ed to make the verb change to past tense. Drop the ball becomes he dropped the ball. Hop on one foot becomes she hopped on one foot. Another way to change to past tense is by dropping the final e. When a present tense verb ends with a sneaky or silent e, Drop the E and add ED to make the verb change to the past tense. An example is, we skated together at the rink. I like to shop. I like shopping with you. Another way is changing Y to I. When a present tense verb ends with a Y, change the Y to I and add ED to make the verb change to the past tense. Will you help me carry the groceries? We carried them to the kitchen. Eric asked me to marry him on New Year's Day, and you change that to the past by making it married. The last way is to change the spelling completely. Sometimes a present tense verb changes its entire spelling to make the verb change to past tense. If it helps, yes, say yesterday I blank to help you find the right word to use in the past tense. Some examples are eat to ate, sand stand to stood. Okay, now it's your turn. You're going to try some on your own. How can you make these present tense verbs past tense verbs? The word like. Would you change it to liked? 
liked or liked, A, B, or C. Say your answer out loud. You're right if you guessed liked. How about take? Would you change it to taked, took, or taked? You're right if you said took. Okay, let's try some more. Bury. Would you change it to buried, buried, or buried? Which one, A, B, or C? You're right if you said A. Bury ends in a Y, therefore you change the Y to I. How about mop? Would you change it to A, B, or C? You're right if you said mopped, A. Mop has a vowel and consonant, therefore you double the P. How about go? Goed, gone, or went? You would change that word to went, like he went to the store. Okay, let's talk about the future tense. The future has not happened yet, but we know it will. Add will to the present tense verb to make the future tense. Today I go, yesterday I went, tomorrow I will go. Let's talk about adding ing to a present tense verb. All the rules used for changing the present tense verb to a past tense verb can also be used when adding ing to the verb except for changing the spelling. And do not drop the y when adding ing. Here are some examples. Carry, carried, carrying. Eat becomes ate becomes eating. Walk becomes walked becomes walking. Like becomes liked becomes liking. Dropped becomes dropped becomes dropping. Okay, boys and girls, thank you for watching. Be sure to complete the Google Doc that I have um, put up on the website on the bottom of this video. Thanks.